Filipino black folks and basically uh, what you need to do to is go to this here video here because this is the one that I've been wanting to show you what I'm going to show you about the moon here right now okay so you go to my channel and then remember I've got my old channel you got the link here at the new where we're putting most of the new uploads uh, I will futuristically here we'll, at the old channel I will go ahead and I'll go over there okay, you can always click there to go over to the old videos you know it's just and then watch this one here for the facts that I'm going to show you here on these photos that have been showing that are going to show you from someone took pictures and I'll have his name and everything like that and we want to thank him took a picture of the moon recently okay and it was on a reputable uh, space channel okay and basically remember you know what stuff a UFO driver or little green man or anything any day of the week and open a museum and get richer than hell. That's why I show you that basically there's no satellites at the planet. And it is Alpha Centauri BB. Okay, and I showed you actual space photos of that here. And then, then I'll have two more videos today. So when you go to my channel, and uh, if I go here, the movie's going to load up right away. So you always remember you can go to the featured on the front. And then you'll have all the links. So uh, I'll pop over here and queue it up at the end of the video and go to the featured channel but we're going to be talking about what I wanted to have along with this recently but I'm going to have a couple more videos too but these hot as you can see the view counts because a lot of people went wow because yeah they're real they're all real photos and I can prove it okay those are all real photos the only one was the fake one there's a fake photo of what they're saying that Alpha Centauri BB looks like and they try to make it look like it's hot and un uninhabitable and I basically showed you actual pictures from satellites of what it looks like and now I'm going to back up that with looking at the moon okay now check this out this is all actual factual okay I might be able to just go ahead and pop right in there we go okay now this is what was posted and you want to give a big thanks up to Mariano Ribas uh, apologize if I, did, if I said the name wrong We'll pump this up to like 200 and you can read his info pretty good. You can also see the shot there. And we'll zoom in here too because we'll go like 999 and see if we get any differential. We always bleed everything through the mill three times to see the truth. I'm also going to be able to blow up and look at what they were saying here too. Now in, and we're going to be able to look at this a little closer too, in the shot that I've seen that they put on the channel when I originally saw it, was the actual and I was like ooh this is good I can bleed some truth on the moon again okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up blowing up into this in this and they said what they did is they said that they split a shot but it's it, it is the path of the ISS so he's just snapped another picture because it moves fast okay and they did when they originally put it I think they posted this picture at the front uh, which basically was showing the ISS twice okay so basically in his resolution here but I also have the actual factual, I went to the actual upload over here, okay? And this is the same shot, and I want to thank them, okay? Because this is going to bleed the truth real fast. So I'm going to pump up 999. And you're going to realize that all of those pictures that I showed you over at that video that I just showed and mentioned to you, to you that I made, uh, is actual factual. Because what we'll do is we'll go left, and we're going to blow up on the atmosphere of the moon. We're at 999. So we're blowed up real good. Uh, and we'll pop back over to the right. And we'll come down on the ISS. And we'll even pump in on it real fast. And you'll realize that when you have stars on a man-made material out in space, they will glimmer on there. And you really won't get much of a shadow on a man-made object. But when you're sitting on a sphere like the moon and then it just goes back to all the space photos that they always showed you and they give you the lighting where they have always showed you where the idea basically is a Hollywood soundstage okay you can prove it by other facts by just bleeding out the uh oh there's a legal term and we'll get to that in the future and there you go it's glimmering in on the ISS a bunch of stars out in space and you'll even see the different colors now this is why they don't ever turn around and shoot out into space and that's why everything that's ever been shot to you said from whatever agency on the earth that that was the uh, it was just the Cold War and we know the Cold War is over 
So these are a bunch of stars glimmering on the ISS because we are in on his shot and on his picture. And we'll just keep on. Uh, I'll give you there at 400. You can look at it. Okay, and then we'll we'll pump in and start. What's great about stars, even in a as you've seen the data on his, basically it's a pixel camera that he's got. But see the telescope. I believe that he shot through. He doesn't talk about that. Either that or he's got a hell of a zoom on his lens. See? So you can, and we'll go back to that again and you'll see what he says that he took the picture with, okay? So, and no, no, I'm not trying to discredit him. He actually took these shots, ladies and gentlemen. These are all real. And this shows you what I'm showing you in space. But the other shots that I've showed you is the factual that you'll always see this. Now, let's see, this is bleeding off of a star. Let's see? A star in the space out there is doing that, okay? On to the moon and then we'll move over here and look at the ISS we're pumped in like 1600 okay and you'll see the different colored stars and everything that's are glimming are on just the satellite alone in the dark because there's no sunlight you see there's no sunlight there's just starlight which is sunlight from other stars suns way the hell out in space now one anything in this could end up being a planetoid object that's got a luminosity like the moon like every planet that's in our solar system, okay, could be one of them in there, but no matter what, there's stars from all over out in space that are doing all of that. And as I'll pump out real fast, boom, 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 we'll get up to like 800. Boom, there we go. We've been at 400 before. And you see all those are stars that are glimmering off the International Space Station, okay, at ISS, because he timed it just right and got the shot of it twice, okay? Because that one shot shows it twice. Either that or NASA still has those two magnetically connected and then they're supposed to be studying another planet anyway which I really do believe they are because that's what their plan was supposed to be to do and if they didn't do what they originally planned to do then why haven't they said it because they said that they crashed one I think what they did is if they did crash any spacecraft into the moon what they crashed into the moon was they crashed an observing satellite an observing satellite of the two interconnected satellites and maybe they had a problem with it or something or maybe it was just a planned but they don't tell us. Now, they originally, if you look up, uh, and I can't name the name of it right now because I don't have it on the tip of my tongue, because uh, I do, do all these videos on the fly. Now, let's pop out of here at like 400, and then let's scoot over, and you'll realize that we're still at this shot. But what's unique is we go up along the fringe of where we don't have the sunlight. Remember, where it's lit, lit is where the sunlight of the sun's at, okay? And remember, I've given you the temperatures of the moon before, and the idea of the moon is very hot, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because when you're in front of the sun, now if you're on the dark side where you don't have the sunlight hitting you with a very thin atmosphere, then the actual factual, and here's where star we're going to blink in on here. There's a star that's actually shining on the light side and also glimmers onto, now remember the spaceship collect a bunch of that. So as you know, the materials that are on the moon are pretty much the same as what's on Earth because of the glimmer effect. Now, as you can see, we're right on the fringe of where it's dark, day and night. And as you can see, there is stars, and I think we'll be able to go up and down, too, of it. And we'll pump back out. There is one good star that I, I mean, and you can see that star. We'll go back up to that. I'm not saying that we don't have that star, which is a damn good shot. And that might be our actual star that I've seen that I had a really good shot of before, but that's some stars right on the fringe of daylight to nighttime on the moon. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to have to keep most of all this time on this video here because I'm just going to keep flowing. And we'll go left and we'll go back over and then we're going to glue in on some stars that are actually glimmering on the moon. Right on the moon. there are some stars glimmering on the face of the moon, okay? And there's a star glimmering on the face of the moon. And as you can see, sometimes it puts a shadow over. Now, we remember all the NASA stuff, you've never seen any stars. Now, we're over on the bright side of the moon. So there's still starlight, and then here we go, there's stars. And then I'll speed up a little bit, because we'll probably see some good ones here. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta zoom out, and then we're gonna go to the fringe and match up what we were seeing on the pictures before of we're at 99 we're at 400 so i'm going to get us to 999 i guess that's what my mistake was here a minute ago of not being able to get that good of a shot on that one star in this in the breakup of the of the sun now remember the moon does not rotate ladies and gentlemen we're at 999 the moon doesn't rotate and with the thin atmosphere we're going to see what makes 
our atmosphere on Earth also illuminate, but see, they never really get down and show you our fringe of our atmosphere, which might be just as good as we, you know, you go by their data, what they give you, okay? So we're over at the very fringe of the moon, and you can see stars as we go down. Basically, it's starlight because it has a thin atmosphere. And I can show you, though in the future, I'll be able to show you some shots from Mars, too, from a rover, from the rover, and you'll see stars glimmering on the, the very edge of the atmosphere of Mars from being shot from the Mars rover. Now, NASA should like that, so that makes it makes everybody realize, and I've already proved that there's stars glimmering on the ground at the Mars shots from the rover. And lately, the telemetry is messed up on, uh, they were going the backup on the computer. And we know that they would have way more redundancy than just having A and B on a com one computer. So we know that they're not going to lose any contact with what, what's going on on the, on the moon. I mean, on Mars with the rover. So as you can see, the stars here at this light. And then I'll go in and we'll try to get into some, at 99, we should be able to look at these stars right here, okay? That are glimmering on the fringe of the atmosphere of the moon, okay? Remember, this is all this guy's photo. And then we'll get in some more. So you'll realize even more that those pictures that I showed you in that video at the very, back up the video at the very beginning and go watch that if you didn't watch my video already. And you see there was a bunch of counts on it. And basically they have, they will always control my counters because I don't get any advertising money because I'm bleeding you the actual factual truth, okay? Actual facts, okay? Now, if they would take and give you a shot close to Earth's atmosphere, you might actually see what illuminates us besides just the sun is when they're always sh shooting a shot of the Earth, you see the whole Earth. You don't see a dark side of Earth. When they sit back and shoot the Earth from a satellite shot, they're always showing you the bright side of Earth, and they don't show you... I mean, they do. Sometimes you will see a day into night shot, like you're seeing here from this guy's camera on the ground. But what you really don't do is you don't see them sh show the fringe of the atmosphere close enough to see whether we actually get starlight like that along that fringe there. And let me see if I can hurry up and get into this video. I'll hurry up and pop out at 125, and we'll probably do more than one video on this, studying this. And yes, when we were zoomed in a little while ago, we were zoomed in exactly on the ISS. Just back up the tape, okay? Because we, I can do this video again. We can make another video of this photo, and it ain't going anywhere, okay? I'm going to try to get the, the uh, Mars thing in and show you the, the stars on the fringe of, of Mars. That. And this is Curiosity Rover, and basically... There's your credit for the Clay Moorhead. He does this 3D, and you can go look at all this stuff. And he's way more than one of the deals. And he's downloaded a lot of the data. And, and I'll go down, and I think I can get the uh, rover in. And there's a little bit of the rover right there. Okay, and then I'll come back up. Because what I've got it is a good... I started joking to myself. I was like, where are they shooting in Vegas or whatever? That, you know, and I'm just, just joking around with myself in my mind. And then I started just like, hey, well, there's one of the stars or something like I could see, you know, shining above the horizon off into uh you know and i figured okay if they got some place out in the middle east that they were been doing into that and then i just you know kept on studying kept on studying as far as i can tell we're on some planet somewhere now i just don't doubt that it's mars i really do believe that they've got to mars and did all that and not just connecting that but as you watch the horizon i'm gonna i'm gonna bloom in because we're at 9.99 and we're gonna see starlight that along the horizon line in the daylight okay and then you got to study how much light that mars gets from out in space but if you study the horizon line we're going to blow in on it i'll get back over because all you got to do is find something bright real fast and you can zoom in and basically we'll get it along here and we're just going to zoom in and there's starlight ladies and gentlemen it doesn't take just but a second you get up there we've seen the brightest area and it's not street lights they're actually shooting from, and then basically there are stars that out in space that are glimmering on the horizon that you see in the atmosphere, the thin atmosphere on Mars, okay? And then I can pick out, we'll just, I won't be able to point, you just watch the horizon line, and I'll try to just get in on one of the brightest that we can see, and there's a pretty good bright one right there, and we'll get real in, and there you go, starlight from space, from the Curiosity rover, on the horizon line, okay, in the, in the thin atmosphere of Mars, which we know Mars is, at least that's what everybody keeps on telling us. Now, I'm just going to keep cruising along. My pointers can't point enough, and I'm just cruising the horizon line, and you'll see that this is all factual, that you, this is all Mars, and remember they couldn't fake any starlights back in 66 and 70 when they were at the moon or anything like that, and I'm going to glue in, as you see, I'm going in on the, the, the brightest thing I could see on the horizon line, that star right there which I can't point no more, but you can see that there's starlight out there on the horizon line. 
okay? Then atmosphere on Mars, and then it all matches up. We basically can always get the 